Seeing windows where there are walls Makes a whole lot of something Hi, I'm Ben Brown with MoreThanGuitar.com and this is How to Play Something About a Boat by Jimmy Buffett. Start with the chords. The first one's an E. First finger goes on the third string first fret. Middle finger, fifth string, second fret. Ring finger squeezes behind that on the fourth string, also second fret plow, six strings. The A chord, you're going to push down the fourth string, second fret, third string, second fret, and second string, second fret. You can use these three fingers and play five strings. You can use one finger and just play the four middle strings. Uh, I've even had one student that put the first finger in the middle. However you push down those strings, that's an A chord. A B7 chord, your first finger goes on the fourth string, first fret, and then fifth string, second fret, third string, second fret, first string, second fret. Play five strings. C sharp minor is a bar chord on the fourth fret, so your first finger is going to mute the sixth string and play the fifth string on the fourth fret. Your middle finger goes on the second string, one fret up from your finger. Your ring finger is going to play the fourth string, two frets up. And your pinky crowds behind on the third string, two frets up from your finger. Play five strings. To play an A minor chord, your first finger is on the second string, first fret. Middle finger gets the fourth string, second fret. And your ring finger plays the third string, second fret. Play five strings. The way I usually do it is to play one through three, pick your first finger up, move these two over, first finger goes back to the second string. Then you can slide from there right back over to the E chord. To imitate that cool sort of light reggae sound the band is getting, we're going to do a lot of muting. Bass string, I'm using both hands for the mute, I'm muting with my palm heel down on the right hand, and then on the left, I'm picking up my fingers, so they're touching the strings, but not pushing down to the frets. So there's lots of mute for that. Bass, down, up, down, up, bass, down, up, down, up, bass. For the E chord, the sixth string is the bass. For the A chord, the fifth string is the bass. And for the B7, the fifth string is the bass. At the end, there's a really cool riff that's not very hard. You're going to put your first finger on the third string, second fret, and your ring finger on the fourth string, fourth fret. And you're going to play both of them at the same time and slide up two frets. And then we're going to play the E string open. Now back to the E. So you're going to play those two notes, slide up, slide them back down. E chord. And that's the basic music elements that you need to play something about a boat. Don't forget to check below the video for a chord chart, a play along video, and other songs you might like to learn. Below that there's a big gray area, and as we all know, gray areas are for questions. If you have any questions about this song, please feel free to ask. I'm Ben Brown with MoreThanGuitar.com, and this has been How to Play Something About a Boat by Jimmy Buffett. Thank you for watching.